feel that joy. Um, I can feel that joy penetrating in me if I just go, go deep and I just hang out. But that's also because of the way that I believe in God. And I'm done. Thank you. Over. Thank you. <clears throat> Shabana made me sad and happy at the same time. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> that's recording, funny. The recording didn't take. So I just now re-hit the button, which is going to make for like a <clears throat> seven-minute recording. Um, so I apologize for that. And before I got myself kind of panicked, I thought, well, there must be some reason that this call was not supposed to have been recorded. But Shabana can still do the meditation, which will be recorded. And we can all just be sad and happy about the recording. Go ahead. Help us, Almighty God, to recognize there's no mistake that everything is a blessing and the range of emotions are ours to express as an opening for the heart, as a portal to the soul. Amen. I had a couple of quotes I just wanted to go back and read. This is uh, from very the beginning of the chapter. There were two. There were a couple lines. A smile is the window to your soul. Laughter is the door. And then the other one was: open your mind, allow your feelings to be expressed, to be pushed out, and your heart will neither break nor burst, but be a free-flowing channel of the life energy in your soul. I love that, and I just thought it would help to give that voice again. Yep. <clears throat> Can I just say that what Anne said caused me to feel joy, and I was very struck about causing another to feel joy. And I wasn't able to be here last week. I was at a peace festival and I was giving out um, the thousand words. And I met a lovely woman who um, had not read Neil's books, but she'd been wanting to read them. And I was able to give her the first book, The First Conversations with God. And I felt so overjoyed to be able to give somebody the book. And she said, oh, I'll pay you for it. And I said, no, no, have it. And that feeling of receiving joy from somebody else is so powerful. Over. Agreed. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And and that brings me to um, something that when I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, I suggest quite often, and you know, it's really fascinating to me, but I suggest it all the time. Nobody ever does it. What I suggest is to go volunteer. Go volunteer somewhere. Find a soup kitchen. Find a homeless shelter. Find a um, you know, find a library. There, there's all kinds of places that you can go and your time will be accepted freely and people need help. And um, it's such a beautiful tool to just get out of ourselves because so many people, we, we just get so sucked up in our own problems and our own lives and how difficult everything is for us. And on and on we go, and we can really, like, get into this pity party. And even if we don't look visibly like we're having a pity party, if in our heads we're just always, uh, you know, weighted down by the things that are pressing us in our lives, the very best way to shift that energy is to go get out of yourself and focus on somebody else, even if it's only an hour a week. Um, and, and it it will become a source of instant joy.
over. Um, you can even do it when if you're at the grocery store. You know, somebody yes. drops something or you see somebody right. or hear somebody and says, I don't know where the horseradish is, and they're not talking to the clerk. I've like butted in and said, it's right over there. <laughs> you know, right. So you can do it in many ways. Yeah. Oh, I just you thought can, we got a couple of seconds you can left. Do it with I, the, oh, go, sorry. go ahead, Anne. Go ahead. I was just going to say you can do it with a smile. There's um, an old story about, I'll make it really, really short, a little bit, but of a guy that said was going to kill himself and jump off the bridge. And he said, I won't end my life today if between now and the time I get to the bridge, somebody smiles at me. And he walked past and there was this young girl and she gave him this great, big, beautiful smile. And he got to the bridge and he said, I'm so happy that someone smiled at me today. And that's over. <laughs> that's a good one. That's sweet. <laughs> This is a story about feeling joy and sadness at the same time. Um, yesterday, we did a little march here in Seward. There were six of us. Actually, only five of us were marching because the sixth person was a young little boy in a stroller. But um, so we're marching along. We got a couple of signs, you know, keep families together. And, and um, some tourists came along. And um, they were so happy to see people in this little town here in Alaska, even at the little small band that we were, but they had seen on the news how people were, you know, protesting all around the country and they wanted to be involved and um, they were feeling badly. And then they saw us and they asked us if they could march with us for just a, a short distance and get a picture and so they did and so it was it was a really joyful uh experience and at the same time um we are we are all uh everybody that that demonstrated yesterday we are living with a sadness at the same time um and so that was a, a an example of being happy and sad at the same time that's a really good point because we all have things like if you give to the food to the hungry and you can be very happy about giving food to the hungry but you can also be very sad that it's a thing that needs to happen yeah so well my friends my weekly sunday friends um i don't know for the last three weeks, there's been something with the recording. So I don't know what the heck that's all about and trying to tell me, but I will get um, last Sunday's up on Evo Revo and Community Circle. And then as Shabana wrote to me in a message, please post this abbreviated or short, I can't think of what you said, abbreviated discussion as soon as you can today. Uh, hey. <laughs> I, I might be able to do that. So anyway. He's our girl. Yep. All right, everybody. Love you. See you. Love you. Week. And thanks for people for sharing and and caring and Lessons. on where we go. Have a great week, everybody. I'm so glad to see you all here. Okay. Love you all. Love you all. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye.